Welcome to my week 5 battle of the PDL. This week the Chicago Groogies are taking on Daniel, coach of the Glasgow Gudras. We're on a little bit of a losing streak here. We've lost the last two games in a row, but I'm looking to bounce back this week. My opponent has a very, very strong team with some huge threats, so let's take a look at their team. They have Kieran Black, Sylveon, Excadrill, Raikou, Mega Venusaur, Zoroark, Swellow, Magmortar, Hitmonchan, Uxie, and Alola Mola. They have some huge threats like Kieran and the Excadrill, as well as some defensive threats like the Mega Venusaur. So after doing some testing i realized that i'm gonna have to use a very offensive team this week going for like a balanced defensive sort of strategy was not working at all first up we have mega low punny with enough speed to outspeed the swallow running fake out return high jump kick and power up punch no resist to return plus high jump kick power up punch is just there in case i can get a boost maybe if something's low hp because at plus one nothing wants to take hits from this mega low punny next up i have specially defensive clefable holding the light clay with dual screens i'm going for a very hyper offensive build this week and so screens benefit fitted my team a lot. I'm running Moonblast as my stab. I'm not too worried about the Venusaur or the Excadrill switching in. I have other switch-ins for those. And then I have Soft Boiled to get health back. This is where my strategy had to get a bit creative because I really struggled with some of his team. He has to run at least one, maybe two choice Scurfers to deal with my Mega Low Punny. So I'm going to try to bring Trick Room this week on Celebi. So I'm running Stealth Rock, Psychic, Earth Power, and Trick Room. Holding the Citrus Berry just to get some health back, live some hits. Psychic does huge damage to the Mega Venusaur since we're a modest nature. It's actually able to two-hit KO. We are walled by the but we have trick room to then switch out into some of my other threats one of those threats being the choice specs chandelure i've run scarf a few times to fix its speed but now since i have trick room i'm gonna run specs to do as much damage as possible max special attack modest I'm running flamethrower shadow ball because those moves have just absolutely no switch-ins even Venusaur with Thick Fat does not want to take a Flamethrower. I just decided to put Hex over Energy Ball because the only reason I had Energy Ball was for the Alola Mola, but that doesn't really take Shadow Balls. So I put Hex on there because I do have Toxic Spikes on my Dragalgi, so maybe I can take advantage of that. But for the most part, I'm going to be clicking those two moves. My last move is Curse. It was between that and Memento, but I figured doing a quarter HP damage and forcing my opponent to switch out was a really good benefit. Durant looked really good this week, so I'm running a Choice Scarf Hustle set, so I'm really relying on not missing my 80% accurate move. Moves, running Iron Head, X's, or Superpower, and then Baton Pass to switch out since this thing doesn't get U turn. And we have enough speed to outspeed a Choice Scarf Zoroark. And last but not least, we have Dragalgi with the Shooka Berry. If I have a Reflect Up, I actually only take about 25 to 30% from Excadrill's Earthquake, and I can do about 75 80% back with Hydro Pump. And then Draco Meteor and Sludge Wave have no switch ins besides the Excadrill, and Toxic Spikes just to whittle down my opponent's team and hopefully allow me to click Hex with Chandelure. But yeah, that is the team. If you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the battle. I also want to give a huge shout out to Starry for helping me build and mock this week. All right, here we are at the battle. My opponent brings Alola Mola. Uxie, Curum Black, Hitmonchan, which I really did not expect at all, Mega Venusaur, and Raikou. All right, so I think I want to lead with my Clefable here and get up my screens. There's really nothing that threatens me too much. I'm not that scared of Venusaur with uh, Sludge Bomb because I don't take like crazy amounts since I'm Spideff. Yeah, we're going to lead Clefable here as they lead Hitmonchan. So this is actually a really good lead for me. I don't think Bullet Punch would do a ton of damage here. Uh, it does a decent amount, but if I reflect, I will be all right. So I'm going to go for reflect here immediately as they switch out into the Mega Venusaur here. Um, and how much am I going to take from a Sludge Bomb from you? Uh, I take about half, give or take, on investment, a little under. But I'm going to get my light screen up here because once I do, I have both screens up and I'm free to just switch out. I can go Celebi on this. I can go Chandelure as well. Um, those will do a ton of damage, so I'm going to get my light screen up here. All right, they Mega Evolve and go for the Earthquake. Take literally nothing from that because of the uh, the Reflect, and I think maybe they were trying to predict Dragalgi or Chandelure coming in. All right, Celebi can come out here, and it doesn't even take half, like so pretty free switch in. If they go for Earthquake again, I'm also not going to take like any damage. They go for the Sludge Bomb, so that's like a max roll if they are no investment. Once I switch out, I can get rid of this Poison as well, so I'm not super worried about it. They might go Uxie here, which is a really good switch in to my Celebi. I'm going to get my Stealth Rocks up here. They're pretty free. Hitmonchan can Rapid Spin them away, but it's not like the best Rapid Spinner. I think Extra Drill would have been better, but we'll see how it does. So we're going to go for Stealth Rocks here. We have our Citrus Berry still as well, so we'll get some health back if we take a hit. 
All right, they switch out into Curum Black here, so I get some free stealth rocks up here. And then I can go out into Clefable. The only thing that I'm really fearing is Iron Head, but even with the screens up, it's not going to do that much damage. Uh, Celebi does get uh, the Citrus Berry, so that's kind of nice because I'm going to switch out here and I'll get rid of the poison. And yeah, we're going to go uh, right into Clefable here. Let's see what they go for. They go for Ice Beam, and they actually get a crit, so that does a ton of damage. And I actually think they have a chance to kill now with Ice Beam. They do. And if they have a physical move like Fusion Bolt or Iron Head, that also also takes me out so this is not good i don't think it's worth keeping this clefable around though i'm gonna go for the soft boiled on the off chance they switch out though or i live and they go to clefable here so we actually keep uh or they go to venusaur we actually keep our clefable around so we get that soft boiled off that's really nice since they don't have sylveon i can go dragalgi here very freely they have absolutely no switch ins to draco meteor here so if i go for like a sludge wave into a draco it has it, it could kill very small chance just depending if this is a fizz dev or spadef venusaur which we don't know yet and with the reflect up i'm not worried about an earthquake because we do have the shookaberry so i'm gonna go into dragalgi here as they go for a sludge bomb so we take no damage from that at all and i'm gonna go for a sludge wave first here because they don't have a switch into either of these moves all right they go for the earthquake we absolutely take that we take almost as little as we did from the sludge bomb and this does show me that they're a spadef venusaur so i can't quite kill with draco yet so i'm gonna click sludge wave one more time here and i'll be able to kill the following turn Ooh, wait but i just realized i no longer have my reflect up i do have light screen for this turn so i kind of want to go clefable here and then reset up a light screen on this and get another reflect up that sounds like my best play because at least i'll get like a decent switch in they actually go for the synthesis so that works out fine sludge bomb will do a lot but i'll get my uh light screen up here and they do have a chance to kill with this one so i'm not gonna stay in here i'm gonna go celebi here because i'm kind of fearing a hidden power fire on the durant play and Tregalgi doesn't want to take an earthquake without the reflect up and i'm not quite ready to let clefable go down yet because it can still get a soft boiled up on the Uxie or the um alola mola so i'm gonna go celebi here if they sledge bomb we can take two of them Yep, we do take two. No poison. Awesome. And I'm actually going to Trick Room up this turn. If they switch out, that's fine, because then I can let Chandler or Dragalgi come in, or even the Celebi is a huge threat unless the Uxie comes in, then I can't touch that thing. All right, they got Uxie, so me making the Trick Room play was actually perfect here. They're not going to go for a Psychic move here, and even if they did with the light screen up, Dragalgi takes, like, no damage from it, and knockoff doesn't matter since I've already lost my Shookaberry. So I'm going to go out into Dragalgi here. I would go Chandelure, but I don't want to get my uh, Choice Specs knocked off yet. So we're going to go Dragalgi here and they go for a u-turn so they're going to switch right out of here this is totally fine because dragalgi just clicks draco on whatever comes in it doesn't matter i'm even going to try to hit venusaur as hard as possible because i get two ko'd by earthquake and dealing as much damage to this as possible is the best in in my opinion i actually have celebi that is slower than this because i made it min speed so if they earthquake celebi is actually the better play so i'm going to go celebi here we live a sludge bomb as well they just go for a synthesis, so that's totally fine. I get a Psychic off. This does 55 to 53%, even though this thing is a Spadef Venusaur. All right, they switch out into Uxie. That's totally fine, because I'm slowly wearing this thing down. Okay, so I think I'm going to go out into Dragalgi here again. They probably U-turn out, but Celebi actually dies to a U-turn, and nothing else really wants to be out when something else comes in. I don't want to risk Low Bunny taking a Psychic, and just Durant doesn't do enough damage yet with the Venusaur. Dragalgi can always just switch back out into Celebi on the Venusaur. I'm, I'm good with possibly letting Celebi go, as well as possibly letting Clefable go because of how weak it is. So I'm going to go Dragalgi here again, and they just go for U-turn like I thought, but I, I didn't have really a better play to go into since the Trick Room finishes up this turn. Dragalgi algae really wouldn't or i mean chandelure really wouldn't have worked well so that mega venusaur comes out once again i got onto two earthquakes and i'm slower than this so i'm just gonna go for a draco here i do about 45 to 50 percent and then i'll go down from two hits and i can switch out into either celebi or chandelure and hit this thing very hard possibly KOing it i guess the only downside to that then is they could synthesis up since i get the spadef drop yeah i'm actually gonna sludge wave it's just a better play since i won't get the spadef drop and they actually go for sludge wave and we get a crit so that's an amazing turn there puts me in a great situation where they actually have to synthesis or switch here and i'm just gonna go for sludge wave again i don't go down to an earthquake here so yeah they synthesis I'm going to sludge wave. I'm doing a decent chunk, enough to where they still have to keep going for synthesis, and they only have five of them left. So I'm going to continue to go for sludge wave here. I might get another crit as well at some point. All right, I got this thing more weakened than I even intended to since they clicked sludge bomb that first turn. So I'm just going to keep clicking sludge uh, wave here, and they're going to try to take me out here. I get them nice and low. They probably KO me here. I doubt that they keep me alive. 
We'll see though. Yeah, they actually go for it because they want to have this thing as healthy as possible before uh, before they knock me out. I'm gonna keep going for Sludge Wave though because if they do end up trying to stall me and I had Draco, the Spit F drops would have allowed them to heal more. Doesn't matter. They knocked me out. All right, Mega Lopunny just comes out here and knocks this out with a return. So we're gonna Mega Evolve and go for that. I'm not gonna risk going for like a fake out in case this Alola Mola that hasn't come out yet is Rocky Helmet. I don't want to take unnecessary damage, which they hard switch directly out into this. So I'm guessing this is Rocky Helmet. They went out so quickly into it it's actually not and it took a decent chunk i'm not willing to risk the scald burn though and it might not even to it ko clefable so i might actually have a chance to soft boiled up here so i'm gonna go clefable here and they actually go for wish so they are fully allowing me to get my clefable up which is awesome because this thing with screens is so good how much do i do to venusaur i don't do enough uh with moonblast to venusaur to make it so that i don't allow it to switch in here unfortunately but getting my clefable back up and healthy is very important so that i can live hits and then just you know get screens up to support the rest of the team here so i'm just gonna go for the soft boiled here i know that they're gonna go venusaur and in all honesty there's nothing i can really do about it here so i'm gonna click soft boiled they actually get their Uxie up. That's interesting. I thought they were going to wish pass to the Venusaur. Maybe they have knockoff and they want to get rid of my uh, my light clay. I'm just going to go for the light screen here. And they actually get their stealth rocks up to start uh, doing some residual damage to my team, which makes sense. Looking at their team, I'm not too, too worried about the reflect. So they probably U-turn out here. I'm going to go for one Moonblast. I could switch out, but then that might affect what they do. I'm going to go for Moonblast. All right, they just U-turn out. They go Venusaur here, and unfortunately, like I said, this thing is going to end up getting uh, some healing back here. Nothing does enough damage to this Venusaur once it synthesizes up to take it out, so I'm going to try to make a risky play here, and I'm going to go low punny. I'm going to fake out and then try to power up punch boost and maybe try to break through his team. I know that that Hitmonchan has Mach Punch, and then this might be a Scarf Raikou, but I need to get rid of this Mega Venusaur. It's causing me so many issues, and I have the light screen up, so I'm not going to take a ton of damage. And I I just don't see another play that's going to work for me because I have a, a huge feeling that their last move is hidden power fire for the Durant. So I'm going to go Mega Lopunny here. I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to go for it. They go for the synthesis as expected, and I could fake out this turn. Uh, I also kind of want to power up punch. I think the fake out chip damage is just better, especially now that we know the Alola Mole is not Rocky Helmet. So I'm going to go for fake out here. Oopsie comes out here. This actually might be Rocky Helmet. We haven't seen this thing's item yet. It is. Okay. I hadn't realized we hadn't seen its item yet. I unfortunately don't think I'm going to be able to get my Trick Room back up with Celebi unless it's against the Alola Mola. I kind of want to just hard switch into Chandelier here as it does so much damage with Shadow Ball to everything. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Chandelier here. So far, this thing is only you turned out, and I have a feeling it might want to click Psychic Move against me. Uh, could want a T Wave as well, which I'm not too worried about. They actually U turn out. They just keep going for U turn here, which is kind of obnoxious, actually. All right, they go out into the Hitmonchan here, which this thing doesn't get knock off. I'm not actually sure why it came in here if i'm being honest maybe it's a salt vest that could be it okay it does get earthquake along with pursuit so my guess is it's probably a uh, an assault vest set here but if it's not assault vest flamethrower does kill it here and i don't want to be pursuit trapped but he is just faster than me too so if he earthquakes i go down so i have to like decide if it's pursuit or not because if if he's pursuit and i switch out i die the way this came out i have a feeling it's it's either assault vest or pursuit or both so i'm gonna click flamethrower here on a pursuit they go for the earthquake oh i actually live it though oh my goodness and it is assault vest um i cannot switch back in though because of the stealth rocks so i I just have to go for a flamethrower and let this go down and unfortunately this just isn't looking good that uh that Uxie is such a problem for me all right how's it looking for mega low punny against this thing all right i have to go mega low punny here and i'm gonna go for fake out into power up punch hopefully before that Uxie comes out but it might just hard switch out here considering that uh they might want to keep their differential up no, they actually uh, don't. And this thing, it's inner focus. I didn't even think about it. Oh my goodness. That was just a total lapse of judgment right there. I totally forgot about that. That's horrible. That feels bad. Oof. It's all right though. GG's. I mean, this this has been a an horrible battle for me. Like this team has been so rough for me to take down. E even in testing, I had a rough time. I had a balanced team at first and then I ended up switching it to like this hyper offense. And even this just isn't breaking through the team, which it did in testing decently, but my opponent did a really good job.
Alola Mola comes out here and we miss. Thank you, Durant. You are amazing. I'm gonna go Clefable here. I might be able to get like a screen up or something, allow it to, to take a hit. They go for the Scald there. I'm gonna go for the light screen here, helps Clefable take some hits. <laughs> the problem is that Venusaur is just right there. Just annoying as hell i'm gonna go hard durant here on the off chance that they go into venusaur because i can two it ko it so like an iron head flinch could like maybe do something for me but then this just comes back in on like the iron head i'm gonna go for it whatever i i have nothing to lose at this point i i've i've lost this battle uh, essentially at this point so i'm gonna just baton pass out here don't want to take a scald go back out into clefable just bouncing around here i'm on such a losing streak and i i hate it so much all right, they bring out the Venusaur here. Um, they're going to Synthesis this turn. Oh, well, they get the Wish. They don't even need the Synthesis here. I hadn't realized they wished on my softball. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm going to go Durant here. They might Sludge Bomb, but, like, I'd have to get, like, two flinches in a row and then, like, ignore the Alola Mola completely because it resists Steel. So, yeah. I'm just, I'm playing in circles. Durant's just missing repeatedly. This is, this is horrible. I'm getting nowhere. I'm going to go Celebi here. Maybe Celebi could do something. Maybe. Doubtfully. Because it's slow than the mega venusaur for the trick room maybe they'll get scared yeah they go the ooksie here i need to wear this thing down this was what shut down i mean make a look when he's dead at this point so it doesn't matter but this was shutting that thing down hard they probably u turn out here it's their best play because it just kills me and i know this isn't faster than the venusaur so there's no use in keeping this thing around if, if it was faster i'd keep it but i know it's not all right the hitmonchan comes out here which is kind of weird i'm gonna go durant here because like it allows me to possibly get a kill here i'm gonna go for the x scissor hopefully i don't miss oh my goodness we don't get six owed they go raikou here this probably ko's me or i can't ko it i'm gonna go clefable here on the off chance maybe i can get like a tad bit of chip damage and they get a crit so i have to soft boiled here they go for sub so that's not like horrible they probably start calm mining here if i had to guess i can light screen up if i need to to allow me to take less damage from this oh we don't even break it sub oh man gonna set up the light screen and then just keep going for uh moon blast until i break the sub once i break the sub i guess i'll switch out but it doesn't really matter durant's not taking a special hit it has base 48 special defense it, it dies to everything all right they thunderbolt as i light screen and they call mind up again i'm like again i'm so checked out i just started skipping turns I'm gonna moon blast here break the sub uh, i could just like crit I, I guess it, even though i don't think that would do all that much it would do 50 ish percent just gonna sit here until i go down there's no reason to switch like i said durant's not gonna take a hit it doesn't break through this this team anyway uh so ggs to my opponent they they just brought a they have a really good team generally and they brought a team that just i was not able to break through and i knew from looking at the team at the start of the week that i was gonna have a rough time like mega low bunny looked decent but then the oopsie and the alola mola shut it down just just so hard it's it's incredible and yeah so if you enjoy drop a like subscribe and i will see you guys all later ending it on a nice durant miss we love it peace